All right, hello YouTube. This is Quam with SGB Presentations, here to bring you uh, Let Us Make Food, Gourmet PB&J. So first, you want to set up everything that uh, you're going to be using. So for me, crunchy peanut butter, except no substitutes, extra crunchy. Here, let's put that in frame. Uh, extra crunchy peanut butter, except no substitutes. GIF, sponsor, GIF, sponsor, in frame. We want that in frame, remember that. All right, then uh, go ahead and select your favorite jam, jelly, or preserve. But if you use jelly, I'll be forced to hunt you down and face shot you because no, you don't use jelly, gross. So today we're using red plum jam because we don't have any of the good berry stuff. And then also apple butter. If you can find some, if not, you don't have to use some, but it makes it so much better. Yum. And then honey. Good, good. And then for bread, you can just use whatever old bread you want. Uh, but the most important thing, three shall be the number of thy bread, and the number of thy bread shall be three. It shall not be two, nor shall it be four. Five is right out. Sorry, dork, dorkness is over for now. All right, first, peanut butter will go on the first slice of bread. Now, here, let's just throw this over here. And aren't you glad you get to see in my room instead of my gross kitchen bathroom, which I don't have. Have you guys seen that video? Uh, that series of videos, actually, it's incredibly disgusting, but absolutely fascinating. Uh, my friend Ginger, who's also on this channel, agrees that it's absolutely fascinating. And <laughs> it's really gross. Like, he'll drop steak on the floor and then go to eat it and then other stuff. Uh, he'll cook hot dogs on the stove with a weird grill setup thing. And then he'll dip it, drop it in water to clean it off, which totally defeats the purpose of cooking it, I think. Well, you don't get infections and gross things like that, but you also don't get all the the fact that it's hot. It'll now be cold and lukewarm and gross, and you don't want that. All right, so now that we have a well peanut buttered slice of bread, mediocre peanut buttered slice of bread, you are to take the apple butter and spread that on top of the peanut butter that we have on there. Mmm. It sounds kind of gross, actually, and the apple butter actually looks rather disgusting, but it's good, trust me, it's good. It's noms. Okay, well, apple buttered and peanut buttered slice of bread, and then you take your honey, and you squeeze that over your, once, once it goes to the bottom, you squeeze that over however much you want, uh, not too much, because then all you'll be able to taste is honey, and, well, I guess you might like that, but, Personally, uh, no thank you. There's a reason why I'm using all these fancy ingredients. And then, excellent. Well, honeyed, apple buttered, and peanut buttered slice of bread. And I actually have excess honey like I just warned you not to do, but that's okay. So we'll set this aside for now on the paper towel that I've conveniently placed on my incredibly girly quilt. Um, uh, it is incredibly girly and it's what I'm using for now because I don't actually have my own comforter set. And okay, next, I suggest using a spoon for jam because I don't honestly know why people use knives because you can actually scoop it. So scoop the jelly jam. No, don't scoop the jelly. If you do that, I'll be forced to face shot you, like I said earlier. Uh, jam or preserves or another fancy type of jam-esque fruit thingy and uh, spread that onto your slice, your second slice of bread and it'll be yummy. And that, I'm not even going to add a hopefully in there like I was thinking of because it will be yummy. I can promise you that. And if not, then you have permission to um, complain in the comments. But don't complain too hard or I'll be forced to ignore you or make fun of you or something. And it might not even be me, it might actually be one of the others. All right, now. Ah, no! Okay, I accidentally 
face down it on my blanket, so that's okay. Um, also, I have a paper towel conveniently placed over here, so it's not like I'm putting it on my bed, which would be incredibly gross. All right, now, once again, we repeat the step where with the peanut butter, the preserves, and the uh, glomp peanut butter, all right? Peanut butter, preserves, and apple. No, no, Timothy, no. That's peanut butter, apple butter, and honey. And good lord, there's so many peanuts in that little spot right there. Here, let's show you. All those peanuts right there. Good lord. That's way too many peanuts. Well, it's not since I'm a vegetarian and I actually need the protein, but we'll just use that for comedic value, perhaps. <coughs> Anyways, let us continue on with, well, peanutted bread. Okay, and then apple butter again. It, here I'll show you how gross apple butter looks in a second uh, after I've buttered it up. Yum. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, that actually looks rather gross too, but we'll, let's work with, we can work with that. We can work with that. It tastes good. It tastes so delicious. Uh, yes, look at that. That is disgusting looking. Gross. Um, Okay, and then honey once again. Baby. Uh, no. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's squirt that over the... Ew. No, Timothy, bad. Mind gutter. Okay. Let's... Okay, spread the honey again. And then... Yes. That looks yummy. Okay. And then we can once again set this double sandwich aside. Ah! Okay, there it is. Sorry, I lost my paper towel for a second. That was awkward. Okay, now, final slice of bread. So just your jam slash preserve slash fruit goodness of your choice, once again. I do highly recommend uh, the raspberry or black raspberry or blackberry or one of those, if you've got a choice in the matter, because red, uh, just normal raspberry, absolutely delicious on the gourmet PB&J. And I just told my grandma to get whatever when it came to the jelly this time. So we have apricot preserves and uh, red plum jam. I'm a little leery on the apricot preserves, so I haven't used them yet, because you get on there, because that looks incredibly gross and it sounds incredibly gross and paper cuts are alright in moderation but on gourmet PB&Js probably not the best alright now that's taken care of so we can add this onto the third bit of sandwich and voila you have the gourmet PB&J and you know what just cuz I'm feeling a little crazy right now Chocolate syrup, ha <laughs> ha, yes. This is incredibly unhealthy probably, but you know what, no, this is sugar free because I live with my grandparents, so that's okay, not incredibly unhealthy. And then spread it like so, so that looks incredibly fancy and uh, incredibly glompy too, so ha ha. So there we have it, the gourmet PB&J brought to you straight from Quam's, I would say Quam's kitchen, but it's not his kitchen, it's his bedroom. So, uh, yeah, you should go out and make this when you get the chance, and uh, look forward to some other lettuce cooks or let's cooks from the rest of the SUV presentation cast and crew, and perhaps even some other special guests in the future, so enjoy. I'm going to go over and nom this currently, and... Uh, I uh, will let you know how it is in the co- No, I'm not. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So, thanks for tuning in. See you next time at SGB Presentations. Woo! Subscribe, by the way. Do that. It'll be awesome. What? It, it, no, it's still recording and it just flipped. Oh my gosh.